Hi. Uh, this question based on an Excel IAL Unit 5 cosmology. Uh, you all learned, uh, we learned Hubble's law, we equal H naught day. So I call the Hubble's law when the distance of a galaxy from us increase, the speed of precision is increasing. The speed is measured by using uh, redshift of absorption spectrum and by using Doppler effect or Doppler shift, the redshift is, uh, the speed of precision is measured. Uh, the distance of a galaxy from us is measured either by using trigonometric parallax or by using uh, Cepheid variable as a standard candle. Uh, generally, students normally they ask this question, but it never appeared in the past paper. Uh, according to the Hubble's law, V equal H naught D, galaxies at far distance from us have greater speed of recession than the nearby galaxies. Explain why. Okay, so for example, sometimes students they ask, uh, imagine there are different galaxies in space, in the universe, there are different galaxies. Uh, in the universe like this okay now when we are imagine here we, we our location is this one we are here so if we are here when we measure the speed of recession of different galaxies these are galaxies when we measure the speed of recession of different galaxies for us when the distance from us increases the speed of recession will be more if i measure the speed of recession of this galaxy if i call this x uh, this is y and this is z for us. The speed of position of z is more greater than speed of position of y. Same way speed of position of x is the lowest when you measure from uh, our location e, our galaxy, our location e. Same way, if there is an observer at y, if he measures the speed of position of other galaxies, for him also, the speed of position will be more when the distance increases. So this uh, concept is common for uh, relative to any galaxy, when we measure the speed of position of other galaxies, uh, the speed of position will increase when the distance increase. Why this happens? What's the reason for increase in speed actually? The reason is actually galaxies are not moving away. We, it looks like the galaxies are moving away from us. But actually galaxies are not moving away. The universe itself is called, normally called fabric of universe or fabric of space. The fabric of universe or the fabric of space itself is expanding. The fabric of universe is expanding. So when the universe expands, it carries or it stretches and pulls the ga uni uh, galaxies with it. When the fabric of universe expands, it stretches itself, it expands, it pulls the galaxies with it and that causes this speed of precision. Okay, so it's easy to uh, compare it with analogy like a, a balloon, inflated balloon with dots. It's easy to understand. Uh, what's the reason for uh, when the distance increase, it looks like uh, the speed of precision of the galaxies uh, is increasing. We can explain by using that analogy. Okay, so analogy is to explain uh, how the fabric of uh, universe expands, what happens, the distance between the galaxies. Easy to explain by using a balloon. Before you uh, inflate the balloon, there are five dots, one, two, three, four, five dots. You mark it on the balloon and imagine the distance between any adjacent uh, dots is one centimeter. O to A, the distance one centimeter, A to B one centimeter, B to C one centimeter, C to D one centimeter. So I took it as T equals zero. In one second, imagine one second you inflated the balloon to this size. Okay, so the time taken to in expand of this uh, universe, like a universe or its balloon actually, uh, to inflate the balloon to this size is one second. So here the distance between uh, uh, o, uh, this is O, sorry, I mean, it was O, this is A, uh, B, C, D. Okay, the distance between any adjacent dot is 2 centimeters. So the balloon expands, the, the material of the balloon, the elastic material of the balloon expands. So it expands equally. So when the balloon expands equally, evenly, the distance between any adjacent dots become 2 centimeters. I said here, the distance between any uh, dot is uh, 1 centimeter. So here the distance between any uh, dots becomes 2 centimeter. Adjacent dots, the distance becomes 2 centimeter. Okay, imagine O is the observer. We are 
at O. We observe from O, right? Okay, from relative to O, the speed of A, speed of B, speed of C, speed of D, if we calculate, what will happen to the speed? So now we know that initially the speed uh, of A relative to O, we'll see speed of speed of A relative to O. O, if I say uh, V1, that speed, V1, initial gap is, I told any distance is 1 centimeter between any adjacent dot is 1 centimeter so the increase in distance is 2 minus 1 so that is e equal change in distance okay change in percent 2 minus 1 over the time taken is 1 I told the value is inflated in 1 second so that's going to be 1 centimeter per second now same way speed of a speed of b speed of b related to O if you calculate V2, that is the distance of B from O, the O is the observer, is 4 cm now. Initially, the speed, the distance of B from O is 2 cm. So, change in distance or change in displacement is 4 minus, this is 2 plus 2, 4 minus 1 plus 1, 2, divided by the time taken is 1. So, it looks like 2 cm per second. Now, same way, speed of C speed of C relative to O, that is V3, that's going to be. Now, the distance of C from O, which was earlier, distance of C from O is 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter, this also 1 centimeter, so it was 3 centimeter. Now, speed of C from O is 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 2, 4, 6, 8 centimeter, 6 minus here 3, that uh, that the balloon is inflated in one second. Over time taken one is going to be three centimeter per second. Same way speed of speed of uh, D relative to O. So that's V4 is equal to now two four six eight minus one two three four. This is one centimeter again. Four divided by one is going to be four centimeter per second. See? Now, actually, each and every adjacent galaxies, they have the same change in their position. So, relative to O, the speed of A, relative to OA, the speed of B, relative to B, the speed of C will be same. But when we measure from a point here, the speed looks like increasing because the distance of the uh, far distance point has larger fabric, larger material. So the balloon is made of elastic material. So when we consider a point which is far from us, that the region consists of larger length of, larger length of uh, material fabric. So the extension becomes larger. Same way here, same way if you take D, relative to D, if you try to measure the speed of C, Relative to D, too much of the speed of B. There are also, when the distance of C is uh, compared to distance of C from D, distance of D from D is more. So, if D becomes observed and if we measure the speed of C and speed of B and speed of A relative to D, there are also the speed will increase. So, actually, what is the reason here in this analogy? If you think about the balloon, what's the reason for the speed? increases when the distance from O increase the speed increase but you can see the gap increase with the same amount the gap increase with 2 2 2 2 compared to earlier all go at 1 1 1 now they have the same increase in gap but when we measure from a point when the distance increases the speed at which they move away uh, is increasing the reason is the the material the fabric the material of the balloon the amount of fabric, the amount, the balloon material amount, it stretches, is increasing when the length increases. The amount of material of the elastic battery of the balloon gets more stretched when the distance increases because it has large amount of or larger region of uh, fabric. The material is there between O and D compared to O and C. O and D has large amount of elastic material, so the amount of expansion becomes more. 
so how to explain the Hubble's law here yeah, it's analogy I use like a balloon I told more material is there more material so when the material becomes more from the observer to far distance point more material more stretch from O when you consider that makes the speed to increase so similarly when we consider uh, the Hubble's law in galaxy what happens when the distance of a galaxy increases the region consists of larger fabric of space or larger fabric of uh, universe between us and far distance galaxy there will be larger fabric of space so when there is larger fabric of space the amount of stretch in the fabric of space is more that causes the increase in speed of the uh, galaxy that means actually it's appear to be its apparent speed of recession the apparent speed of recession looks increased when the distance uh, from us increase the reason is the further away galaxy is the more the fabric of space between us and that galaxy has stretched over time so more fabric of space is stretched when the distance from us increases that causes uh, apparent speed of recession apparent apparently it looks like the speed of recession increases when the distance from us uh, increases. I hope you understood and it's a very uh, general question, so it's normally they ask.